Hi, in our today's discussion, we'll be talking about the rostering and the task management allocation. But that being said, the screen that you're looking into is talk about what are the tasks of the day, the action required for you to finish those tasks and what would be the future tasks that you are anticipating. So in that form, go to the roostering on those uh, lines. Then, uh, so this, this particular screen talks about what are the list of the employees that you already have or are working with you or not working with you in terms of active and inactive. Uh, right, what are the services already allocated to them? What, uh, how you should be reaching out to them, and all of those uh, per se. And you, should you need to go into the more details of those employees, just click over it, and you will see all of their details in terms of what is their qualifications and all of that stuff. Then one can also look into the attendance in terms of when have they worked upon when the leave was taken during the week of the month or the day of the week per se. And let's jump to the rostering part where you will see uh, who is working in what shift once the roster is being assigned or allotted. There is assigned, unavailable, assigned for open change orders or stuff like that. It also talks about what are the number of employees that you already have, uh, how many are available in this week, how many tasks has been already assigned, how many people and how many are unassigned tasks. Now that been said, let's say uh, if I need to allocate tasks to a set of people, I click let's pick and choose whom I, I need to allocate tasks. So these are the four people where I need to allocate tasks in one single go. So let's say assign task. But that been said, you have option to allocate tasks to all the employees at the same time. Let's say assign task. So there'll be a pop up window which, which will be open in front of you, which talks about those four people that you have already selected, right? And say if you would like to know the details of a particular person. So say for instance, Richard, you click on Richard and you will see who Richard is when he has joined and all of his personal details in terms of uh, what languages he speak, uh, what are the skills that he or she has or what specialization in terms of services that he has been allotted to. And all of these details that you will get and as, as far as his job information is concerned, what department he belongs to, what position he has, what is the work location in terms of the airport or within the airport, what location he works in, what shift he works in and whom he reports to. Now that being said, I go back to the task align. So I pick and choose. So I assign the task to all the four people in terms of his priority, which is high, medium, low. What time they need to start the task, what time uh, the task should get ended, any action that, that need to be taken care of, or if I need to delete, I, I can do so. So once this information is filled in i say confirm and once the task is allotted uh, you will get a pop-up which says that task allotment confirm now that being said i go back uh, i close the window and I, I i go back to my original screen so once this is done then whomsoever is task is been assigned in this case it is richard so richard will be logging into mobile with a platform called compass so he will look into so we have an, a single authentication where uh, one need to log in via his mobile number or through his email so i have punched in the mobile number so and on a uh, one time password will be sent to me over a text message. I need to enter that, say confirm. So it will be taken to me to dashboard, which talks about what are the open tasks I have uh, in progress tasks and the task which is being completed in terms of its priority, which is high, medium, and low. So now I look into the task which has been allotted to me. So in the form of calendar view, these are the open tasks or the in progress tasks that I have, or which has been allotted to me. So there are two ways in which one, one can look into those tasks. One is like, say, I click on one of the tasks, which is uh, this one. So I can either take it now or I can do it later per se. So if I have to uh, do it later, so say take later, what time I should be taking the task, I pick and choose the date, say confirm. It's going to prompt me that are you sure? I'm saying confirm, so it is confirmed to me. Now let's talk about, let's do the task per se in terms of open task, so say accept it. Then it, it talks about if anything I need to upload, so I say upload view, I take a picture of it. So one thing is like this particular application will not take any pictures which is in which is stores in gallery. Uh, one need to take real time picture or the real time video though. So I confirm it, say use this photo. I put any comments to it, say confirm. 
and uh, once I confirm it, it's been sent to the supervisor per se and is all been done. I can look into my profile if I need to uh, per se. If I need to edit any profile of me, I, I can do that. Right? Any tickets on me, I can look into those tickets. What are the tickets assigned to me? If I need to look into my dashboard again, I, I, I look into those dashboards and uh, things will be done. Right. And uh, if any filter I need to apply in terms of who my, uh, what task belongs to what region in terms of FNB retail or whatever it is in this case, say confirm within FNB what stores I need to go and finish the task. It is all there. Any filter I need to apply or any tickets that is on my name, I can look into the tickets which talks about uh, what are the completed tickets and in progress tickets in terms of the pie chart. You know, any tasks again, it, it shows in the pie chart in terms of open, in progress, and completed. So, in that view, it is uh, the application tells you what you need to do, how you need to do, where you need to do, and all of that starts on a single click of a button. Thank you very much on this approach. Bye bye.